Let's look at clearing open items in SAP. Open items are incomplete transactions. That's why it's called open item. If it's the transaction has been complete and it's cleared, then it becomes a cleared item or a cleared transaction. For example, if you are waiting for a customer payment to be made, then the customer invoice line item is considered a open item. Similarly, if you are waiting to pay for the vendor, then the vendor invoice open line item is called the vendor open item. So anything which is still pending payments or pending transactions or pending clearing are all called open items. Now automatically all customer and vendor accounts are open items in the system. If any other GL accounts, if you want to make it as an open item, then in the GL master data, you got to enable the indicator open item management ticked. Now, if documents have open items in them, then they cannot be archived, which means they need to be cleared first. Archiving means, for example, you have documents which are two to three years old, and if it's, and if you want, you do not think of having to access to them, uh, because you already have closed the financial books, then you can archive those documents. Archiving is similar to something like zipping a folder, which means the data space in the system will be less consumed, so you will have more space in the server to use for future documents. So if documents are still having open items, that means those documents cannot be archived. Now let us look at the two types of open item clearing posting with clearing and account clearing. We look at this in more detail in the next slide. Posting with clearing. Usually the short transaction code we use for vendor posting with clearing is F-51. I have displayed it over here because that's the transaction code we will use in our example. Now for us, look at this example. You have posted an invoice against Sharp Limited, which is a vendor, for $2,200. Then you realize it's a mistake and it should have been posted against Staples Limited instead. So now you can proceed with posting with clearing to correct the error. So if you do the initial transaction, Sharp Limited will have the document type KR, which is a vendor invoice, credit entry of $2,200. Now when you proceed with posting with clearing, you are going to post against Staples Limited. Now the clearing document will be AB and you are going to credit for Staples Limited 2200. And when you do this, you can select this Sharp Limited and offset it with the debit amount and that will clear. Let me make it a bit more simplified. Initially this will be an open item because that was your vendor invoice entry. Now you are going to post against Staples Limited. So that will become your new open item. And when you post this, you are also going to make sure that this line item becomes cleared. So when it clears, this will be the new transaction. Sharp Limited with AB document type, document number, a debit amount for 2200. So original credit is 2200. Now you are debiting against that vendor for 2200 and the document becomes cleared. And you get a clearing document number against those two line items. Usually when you in SAP when you have open item, it is denoted by a red circle. And if it's cleared, it becomes a green square. Let's see how we do this in SAP. The tolerance groups have been, have been set up for customers and vendors. So the SAP IMG menu path is financial accounting new, accounts receivable and accounts payable, Business transactions, come down to open item clearing, scroll down to clearing differences. So define tolerance group for customers and vendors. We have already done define tolerance group for employees. Now because you want to do a transaction for clearing transaction for customers and vendors, you need to execute this transaction. And create one for a tolerance group for your company code. Now I have already created one for Z123 company code. I'll quickly show you the setting. So you can just leave the tolerance group blank, give a description over here. I just given description like customer vendor tolerance group, something like that you can give. Currency is by default will come from your, come from your company code. 